everybody, it's Circuit6 from StarkGamer.com doing a review of the H264 Pro Recorder from Blackmagic Design. This little box is uh, pretty amazing. I mean, you can take practically any source, convert it to H264, and save yourself a ton of disk space and not lose any of the quality. Uh, typically, a one minute video file will be about a gig, whereas here it may be about 50 megabytes and really no difference in video quality whatsoever. Best of all, it's an H.264, so it's already in the format used by YouTube, which is one of its biggest selling features. So if you take a look at the connections, uh, you've got SDI video input, which is a 12-bit input as well. Uh, you've got analog video, HDMI video, as well as analog audio input, uh, which are separate channels. You've got an SDI audio input, HDMI audio input, and it also has device control. So it's a Sony compatible um, deck as well. So here we can take a look at the, uh, the standards for the device. And you can notice that the HD format support goes from 720p at 50 all the way up to 1080p at 60. Um, one important thing to note as well is that the HDMI color precision is 12-bit. Uh, a lot of devices out there can only capture 10-bit, so this is a, uh, a step above. Another important note is that if you're using an Xbox or a PlayStation 3 or any copy-protected device, even DVD players, you're not going to be able to capture it through HDMI. Now the Pro Recorder's encoding is all hardware-based and it's real-time uh, H.264. So all of this is done inside of uh, this little box that you'll see here in a minute and it does capture full HD or SD resolution and uh, it can be pre-formatted for things like an iPhone, iPad, you know, YouTube, whatever. It comes with Media Express software and the connection is made directly through USB to your computer. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device and I'll show you how it works in, uh, in real time. So here we can see the device and uh, if we take a look I've got um, basically RCA connections coming into the side. I'm using component video to capture the PlayStation 3. Now the audio, you have to buy an adapter, which is a quarter inch, uh, be a quarter inch audio adapter uh, to RCA. So two of those, and uh, you can buy them at Radio Shack. They're very inexpensive. And then for the video, I'm using red, blue, and green. And I know it's yellow, white, and red there. It doesn't really matter, it's RCA. So here's a, uh, a BNC connection to RCA. You're going to need three of those in order to, uh, to hook it up to your encoder. All right, so if you take a look around the box, you can see that we have our HDMI as well as a remote for the Sony deck, an SDI, HD, SDI import, our left and right analog, and our RBG channels. Um, you see the ports as well as your USB connection, your power connection, and there's a white light there that indicates that the power is actually on. So here I'm going to open up the uh, the Black Magic software, the Media Express software, which we use to capture uh, video from whatever source is connected to the Pro Recorder. So here it is. Select Capture and it'll bring up the PlayStation 3 which is currently on now and if you take a look I've got it on my television it is slightly delayed by about two seconds from the TV through the encoder so now I'll show you directly from the Media Express screen capturing a video so here I'm capturing at 1080p at 29.97 this is just the screen from the Blackmagic Express software and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a video. Uh, it's a trailer for Bioshock Infinite. So you can see um, kind of the preview that's shown within Black Magic. It is capturing the audio as well, but you're not going to hear it in this video. This is a review. Uh, any videos that I'm capturing now, you can look at them. You can see the quality here, the audio. It's all captured directly from this H.264 device. So here's uh, just a brief snapshot not as interesting without the audio I know um, this video that I'm capturing here as well it is only 25 megabytes in total so everything that you're seeing here I'm gonna play it again now this is full screen captured a little bit higher resolution than I intended 
uh, just because it's in the project it shows a little bigger but anyway you can see the quality this is the video captured directly to H.264 and like I said this whole file it's only 25 megabytes so I hope you guys like this got a little taste of the H.264 as always if you like it please rate comment subscribe and uh, for more go to starkgamer.com thanks Thank you.